Hello, America. It's Monday, January 21st. Welcome to a brief This Week's Junk. Here's your Week 3 recap. Bombers beat the Tongues, Panthers extinguish the Blaze, Lowell dispatch the Squatch, and Burlington kindles a win against Bay State. Technical difficulties prevent us from providing a full program this week, but let's look ahead to tomorrow night's action. Week 4 is set to paint a complete picture of the league and its competitors. There'll be a sole undefeated team, and only one squad will remain without a check in the W column. First, we cover the two most disappointing seasons of 2013 thus far. Coming off a 2012 tournament championship, Captain John Anderson surely expected more out of the Neshoba Valley Sasquatch. In a post-draft interview, Anderson said he was confident in his young team, especially in their offensive potential. Currently, Neshoba ranks last in run production, showing the team has yet to find its stride and is not meshing as a unit. Although the Squatch have yet to secure their first victory, they do appear to be turning a corner after bringing in six runs in their last game. Neshoba may have yet to pop their champagne bottles as their Week 4 opponent can throw their number one pitcher who is emerging as one of the very best in the league. The Bay State Buttertongues were largely an unknown coming into the season. Being led by four-time champion Matt Mullen, the team's hopes were high coming into 2013. The Tongues' first game of the season pitted them against divisional powerhouse Boston Bombers. In this inaugural matchup, fourth overall pick and rookie Nick O'Keefe proved to be a rising star in this league. The squad dropped this one in extras by a single run. After Game 1, the Tongues looked to be a top contender, but have since been on a downward spiral. Week 1's extra innings came at a cost as O'Keefe uses up seven innings, leaving only three to be shared between the next two weeks. We saw just how costly this would be as the Tongues have yet to find a solution for a number two pitcher. No one predicted these two teams to struggle to this extent. With the season already a third of the way through, both coaches will need to make some changes for any hope of success. Week 4 also matches up the cross-divisional juggernauts. The 4-0 Boston Bombers host the equally unbeaten Portland Panthers for the title of undisputed league leader. Perhaps not so coincidentally, the Bombers and Panthers received the number one and number two overall pick in this year's draft. Each coach has seen these picks pay out through our first four, as both players act as the team's relief pitchers. L's for the Bombers and PBD for the Panthers have each been able to lock down wins for their teams. The Bombers and Panthers are both likely to send out their starting pitchers, and this one should play out as a pitcher's duel. Burlington Blaze and the Lowell Touchamalls meet up this week and fight to rise above 500 for the first time this year. Each team comes in at 2-2 two and two and hope this game will help them boost into a winning season. Considering the momentum that a win in Week 4 would provide, both coaches have the obligation to put their two starting pitchers out on the bump. Our remaining showdown sits the Portland Panthers across from the Bay State Buttertongues for the first time this year. On paper, fans should expect a blowout in the Panthers' favor, but with the Tongues starting pitcher Nick O'Keefe cleared for the game, we may see more competition than expected. As seen in Week 1, the Buttertongues can compete with the best in this league when positioned properly. With a chip on their golden brown breaded shoulder, the Tongues need to bring their best in Week 4. With only 24 hours till game time, let's have a final a look at the DL. The Shoba Valley Sasquatch remain beaten up. Dave O'Grady is listed as questionable and John Anderson improves to probable. Bay State captain Matt Mullen is probable again with elbow issues, but is unlikely to see the mound with starting pitcher Nick O'Keefe cleared to throw. Bombers starting pitcher Colin Amidon is listed as questionable with continuing knee issues and a rocky performance last week. Another week is upon us, so get your bets in and be sure to check back with us here this time next week on This Week's Junk. Suck a dick!